Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sean John, author of the book, Ready, Set, Wealth. So this is a personal finance book and I know that this is a moving CEO, build a better business uh, channel, but if you don't have control of your personal finances or you know someone who does not, please make sure to get a copy of this book. I was homeless uh, in 2017, uh, created a business that's worth tons and tons of money, uh, and in fact, I teach a lot of you guys this. I even coach uh, right now. I got seven clients, and uh, so I'm gonna have to do things differently maybe in the future because uh, I just I realize I don't have a whole lot of time to give, and I want to give you guys so much. Uh, but if you're out there and you need coaching, definitely reach out to me. Uh, you can you can reach me at service at jumpingjackmovers.com. So just check the bio and uh, click the link and and see me there. So if you don't have a copy of this book, I wrote this book. Uh, it's about my journey from homeless to being successful, and yes, that's me, believe it or not. All my hair was off, so. Uh, but make sure to get a copy of this book. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at uh, Sean John Talks Money, as well as on my YouTube channel here, Sean John Talks Money. So what's up, guys? So I'm going to spend a little time with you tonight. So it's Tuesday. It's early in the week. Uh, it's a rainy night here in Dallas, but guess what? We made we made money today. So. Uh, hats off to you guys that went out, hustled, made money today, got the work in, didn't make any excuses. And so tonight I'm going to talk to you something, talk to you about something that's real cool, something that's really, really uh, holding a lot of you back, keeping you guys in a in a, in a tough position financially uh, with your business. Because with this being the busy part of the season, like a lot of you guys, you should be making you should be making minimum fifteen thousand dollars a month. That's the minimum. Uh, especially you who are in the bigger cities and, and, and these really good spots, uh, you should just be killing it right now. You should be killing the game. And if you're not, then obviously you're doing something wrong or, or you're not doing something well enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you tonight about uh, one of the things, probably one of the most important things that a lot of people have issues with uh, when it comes to... Uh, making more money, uh, running an efficient business, because believe it or not, like how, it doesn't matter how small your, your business is, it's still a business. So what I try to do is I try to teach you how to run your business successfully so that you don't waste time. And in this business, time is money. And uh, so essentially you wanna use your time to make money, uh, the time that's available. So. Uh, and for those of you who are on the channel for the first time, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, smash thumbs up. Also, uh, for the, for everybody that's back, hey, we appreciate all of our subscribers and we're just going to build and grow this channel because I got so much great content to give you. Uh, so my backstory, 2017, I was homeless uh, for three months, uh, struggling, really, really struggled life really bad. And uh, so I had one skill. I had worked for uh, all my sons. Uh, for like six months. So I learned a little bit of moving. They didn't have a really good program and they probably still don't, a uh, training program. And so uh, I was able to work there just to help myself out. And uh, so I had had a little experience. And so I, I put an ad on Craigslist one day and I was like, hey, if anybody's out there, they need moving help, uh, please reach out to me and let me know. So a, a lady was kind enough to give me a call, give me an opportunity. Uh, jumped out, took advantage of it. Uh, I had no idea what to charge. <laughs> Luckily, she knew something about paying, uh, more about uh, the per hour cost than I did. And, uh, you know, I made money that day and that prompted me to just keep going. I've never been broke since. And I like the feeling of, of having money in my pocket. Uh, I'm not a big spender, uh, but I do like having money, right? I like that freedom that comes with it, right? That flexibility. And so... For a lot of you guys out there, you're in the business, you're grinding, you're working hard, but you're just not seeing the, the revenue that you should be making because a lot of it is you're not good at closing sales. You're missing a lot of sales calls. Uh, you know, a, a lot of you guys, you're, you're not good at the close on the script. And so the customer calls somebody else when the customer says, hey, uh, I'm just trying to get a quote. Uh, you guys let go. You don't know what to do after that. When the customer says, hey, I have to talk to my spouse or my significant other, you guys don't know how to recapture that and book that sale. And uh, so I teach you that. I help you to coach. Uh, I, I coach you to help you, I should say. And uh, so reach out to me. I can help you do that. Now, probably the biggest, one of the biggest issues when it comes to uh, growing and moving business uh, 
and a lot of you guys are gonna have this whether whether you're a big company or not. Uh, one of the biggest issues is finding the right guys and girls, right? So, cause I've done moves with young ladies. So, uh, but finding the right people, I should say, right? So finding the right crew. And that's the issue a lot of you are having because you don't really know how to find the right crew. So what I try to do is I try to teach you how to find the right crew, how to bring them in, how to train them very quickly and how to get these guys going, how to eliminate the, the bad apples so they don't infect the good apples and to keep the business flowing at the same time, right? So uh, I teach you about that. So I always say this, uh, the reason you don't have issues at Chick-fil-A, the reason they only have one window is because they have a process that helps them to get things done efficiently, effectively, and to the customer satisfaction, right? So Chick-fil-A doesn't make commercials about their food. They make commercials about customer service, right? So they create a customer experience. Uh, McDonald's makes commercials about their food because they, they cannot boast about customer experience, right? And so what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to hire and have an environment that's similar to what Chick-fil-A offers in the fast food industry, right? But you're going to do it in the moving industry, right? So uh, for instance, whenever you order food from McDonald's, uh, I always say there's three windows. There's a window to pay, there's a window to pick up your order, and then the third window is to, to correct your order. Hello? And so a lot of you guys, so a lot of you guys know uh, that McDonald's is a hassle, right? And so, and, and so they, they don't make their money uh, based on uh, their food or their service. Uh, they make it based on, uh, they have a great name. That's really all it is. It's just a great name and cheap food, right? That's bad for you. Uh, so, but I want you guys to be the Chick-fil-A of the moving industry. You don't want to, I don't want you to be the McDonald's of the moving industry because one bad negative review can cost you five, ten thousand $10,000 in the future, right? Because that review is going to stay on there. Somebody's going to see it. Hey, such and such came out. They had a terrible attitude. They were late. They broke this. And that customer is going to go, do I, don't, do I want to experience that? No, obviously not. So, And they're not going to call you. They're going to call the next person. So uh, what I try to do is, uh, because for everyone I coach, they know that I teach them how to get five-star reviews. Now, every once in a while, just to validate all of your five stars, it's okay to let a three star or four star slip in because customers are not stupid. They'll start to think your reviews are fake if everything's a five star, right? Now, if you do great service, uh, let's see, if you do great service, then you deserve the five stars, right? Uh, And so, but that's my thing. So I want to teach you guys how to build a business, how to build great customer service. I want to, I want to teach you guys how to make your business the Chick-fil-A of the moving business, right? I want you guys to be Chick-fil-A of the moving industry. And because a lot of you guys are not, you're getting these poor reviews. Uh, and I don't want you to do that because these reviews are going to cost you a lot of money. If you get one bad review, it could literally cost you five, ten thousand $10,000, right? I know what I'm talking about, right? Because I've gotten those reviews early on, right? So I coach you on how to grow your business without getting these bad reviews up front. Uh, you know, spend 90 days learning your business, growing your business. And even if you've already started, we can reset. Uh, if you're not doing things right, if you're not making 20, 25, $30,000 a month, even a small company, then get with me. We, we can reset and uh, refocus your business, right? So. Uh, but a lot of you guys, you're struggling with hiring the right people and they're going out because a lot of you guys think that, listen to some of these guys on YouTube, and I won't call any names, they're talking about, hey, just put the bad guy out there. It's better to make some money than no money. Eh, that's absolutely false. The reason it is, is because in this case, if that bad mover goes out and performs horribly, then it's going to reflect on your brand and that customer is going to run to where they can tell. They're going to run to a platform that lets them talk about their terrible experience. Do you know that more people share bad experiences than good experiences? If, if, if you don't believe me, look at the news, right? It's always bad news. They never lead with good news. It's bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, because they know people like that, right? So 
human nature is to share the bad news. So these guys, they go right to your Google, your Facebook, your ads, and they post their bad experience because you guys don't know how to get in the, beat these reviews to the spot. I do it. I teach you how to beat these reviews to the punch. That's why we always get five star. I teach you how to beat the reviews to the punch so that they don't leave the review, right? You intercept that review legally the right way. And I teach you how to do that. So a lot of you guys getting bad reviews, you shouldn't be getting that. It's costing you money. Reach out to me. A lot of you guys are, are taking advice from other people who don't run moving services, but talk like they do. I do. I'm not going to call any names out, uh, but I'm just saying that these guys don't experience this. I do. I know what I'm talking about. So when, whenever you put the wrong guys out there and you're thinking about, hey, let's just make a few dollars. I know this guy sucks. Listen, you're thinking short term. Don't think short term. You're just chasing a dollar. If you're doing that, you'll never be able to build a business. So stop thinking short term. Think like, hey, you know what? I'd rather lose 500 on this move than to send the wrong guy out that I, this guy I know is toxic, right? I don't want to send him out. He's going to create a bad customer experience. Yes, I may get a one-star review because I had to cancel the, uh, the move, right? But I can jump on there and I can address it. Hey, I apologize. We just had a situation where it was in our best interest and the customer's best interest, you know, to do this because uh, what we want to do is provide, you know, excellent customer experience. And because we weren't, we felt like we wasn't, we weren't going to be able to that day, then we felt it was the right thing to do to, uh, you know, to postpone that move or to, you know, to get rid of, you know, to assign that to someone else, right? Or to not do the move uh, because the customer may say, yeah, these, you know, I had these guys and uh, these guys called me and just said they couldn't do the move. The customer may come out and say, hey, I respect that. They felt like they couldn't give me the experience that I deserve. And I respect that. Right. And, and other people are going to be like, you know what? These guys are these guys are upfront. They're honest. They're accountable. Can't argue with that. Right. And so that's better than having this on your post. Uh, that these guys were terrible, they were smoking on the job, one guy was very disrespectful, kept answering his phone. Now, no one's calling you because of that one bad review. Reviews are very powerful. Every every uh, one-star review could, could equal $5,000. That's how I look at it. And every five-star could get, can make you $5,000. Every one-star, two-star, three-stars can lose you $5,000. Uh, so for me, I'd rather sacrifice $500 uh, by not going out to do it than to send the wrong guy out and lose 5,000 in the future, right? Because I'm thinking about the future. And so that's what, you know, I encourage you guys to, to do it that way. And I also encourage you, hey, you have to have a Chick-fil-A customer experience built into your business. It's got to be a process. It can't be, you can't wing it. It's got to be a process, right? So you need to have a process that helps you to grow your business. If you don't have it, reach out to me right? You must have a process. Uh, I'm going to start bringing guys on that I've coached and they'll tell you, you know, how great of an experience, how great of the information I gave them and how it affected their business. And I'll let these guys tell you from their own mouths, right? I'll, I'll let them tell you exactly what I gave them, how it changed their business and how, because we changed their business, we changed their lives. These guys who, who were, 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 you know, accepting jobs that, they were that were that was bid below cost, right? Because they needed work. Now they only get premium customers who pay in premium amounts. Now they no longer have a customer base, they have a fan base who rave about them, right? Raving fans who are loyal, pay the price they want, tell other people about the business, and are faithful to the brand. We have customers right now who's faithful to jumping jack movers. They love us, right? And so that's what I want to get from you guys. I want to help you guys to do that. So if you're not doing as well as you know that you're capable of, you know that you can do 10 times more than what you're doing and something's missing, find a coach. If it's not me, find someone to coach you. I'm available only on a limited basis. Just reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. But I'm only taking just a few guys per month because we're very busy. It's a busy season. But again, because it's the busy season, you guys should be making all the money. So, and, and, and one of the things that's holding you back you're just not hiring the right guys. And so what I do is I teach you how to hire the right guys by doing one thing. I'll tweak one thing in your business, change your business. You know what that is? Process. 
I'll help you create a process for when you hire so that you can always, without a doubt, hire the best guys. And that's what I want to teach you. So I hope this helped you. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos. If you have any questions or comments about uh, your service or you have something you might want me to answer, reach out to me. I do offer consults. Reach out to me, okay? Let me know if you want coaching. Let me know if you just want a 30-minute or one-hour consult. Guys, reach out to me. This information is going to change your life, okay? I got to go. I made a lot of money today. I hope you guys made even more. I hope you made even more. And if you don't, make it tomorrow, okay? Make it tomorrow. So, all right. So, I'm going to get with you guys later. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. Tell all your moving buddies about this. And for those of you out here looking for something to do, you don't, you're, you're away from work and whatnot, listen, think about getting into the moving business. What else is going to pay you 20, 25,000 a month, right? Or more, right? So get with me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good night. Be blessed.